Hey guys, this is the demo for our watercolor self-portrait project. First we need to create a little mini study to practice everything. We are trying to develop our skills with our facial proportions that we've been practicing and now we are comparing those facial proportions to our self-portrait photo photograph that we have. Most facial proportions will be pretty similar to our step-by-step -step handout that you have. However, there's going to be some differences. Um, that's what makes this all unique. Also, keep in mind, if your face was tilted, either towards or away from the camera, or side to side, then that might differentiate your photo from the handout of facial proportions. I'm also going to draw a light until I get it right so that I can continue to make adjustments as needed. So as I'm drawing this, I'm constantly looking back at my reference photo to see what differences I'm comparing. I'm trying to look at the proportions and see what matches up and what's different. We'll be using watercolor paint for our values, so I'm not too worried about um, shading in my features. Just trying to get the basic outline. Okay, once I'm ready to watercolor, I'm going to wet my paints so they can start to activate. When I'm ready to paint, I will be starting off with my lightest values and building up from there. Reserving any white areas for my highlights and just going to build up with my lightest values. It's a good idea to create a color palette maybe on the side of your picture. Remember this is just the mini little practice thumbnail sketch or painting that you do beforehand. So it's okay that you have kind of a palette to the side. You'll see that I start to create that here because I had skipped that step. It's important that you use colors that are going to be cohesive, that you're going to be happy with, and you can practice them off to the side to make sure they're going to look the way you want them to look. After I let my first values dry, I'm starting to add the next value. So value is the lightness or darkness of color. I'm going from light and I'm building up slowly to my darks, making sure that if I don't want it to bleed, that I'm letting it dry in between. Notice your photograph is in black and white. That's because I don't want you to focus on creating realistic skin colors and hair colors. I want this to be a little bit more expressive. Once it's completely dry, we're going to do the fun part, adding pen. Okay, this is also the most unforgiving part because you can't erase it after. Granted, watercolor is a little bit unforgiving too, so you might be used to it. Don't stress it, just do your best. This is why we do a practice study. If there's any lines that you wish you didn't do, well, make note of it so that when you're working on your final um, self-portrait painting, you know to not make those same mistakes. And as always, remember, we're learning. We're going to make mistakes, and hopefully each painting just gets a little bit better. Okay, now I'm just analyzing my painting, seeing what adjustments I want to make, some last final details. Okay, and when I'm happy with it, I'm going to use this little mini study to help me and guide me throughout my full-size watercolor self-portrait painting.